All right, so Dallas gave up a first-round draft pick for Amari Cooper, uh, who, hasn't been, who hasn't really been consistent since his first two years in the league. Now, if he can get back his rookie form, then it might be a good trade. But nobody else was offering a first-round draft pick for Amari Cooper. No one was offering a first-round draft pick. Then you have to remember now, Dallas has to pay Demarcus Lawrence, who's top five in his position. Then they have to pay Dak Prescott. They're going to pay Ezekiel Elliott. All these guys aren't going to get paid. Somebody they're going to have to let go. Now, they're not going to let go of Amari Cooper because they just gave up a first-round draft pick. They're going to have to sign him for at least $50 million over three years. Come in the summer. And once again, like I said, everybody can't get paid. But if we get the Amari Cooper that came out of Alabama, because he's still relatively young, if we get that Amari Cooper, then it was a great trade. But I don't like the trade because you're going to have to pay about four guys over $50 million come summertime. For one thing, with Lawrence, you got to give him $100 million. He's top three, top four in his position. And you know you got to pay the quarterback. Even though Dak Prescott is not a great quarterback, you got to pay him more than eight hundred grand a year or $600,000 a year or whatever he's making. And then you got to pay Zeke. Zeke is the glue to our team. But don't get me wrong, with a running back, you could kind of stretch it out. They, you could franchise them and everything else. I'm not worried about Zeke. But we gave up too much money for Amari Cooper, period.